Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today we are gonna be talking about some makeup products that I know I am going to be using so much during the summertime. When it comes to makeup during the summer, I like four very specific things. I like things to be lightweight, glowy, sheer, glossy. That's all I want all I want. I compiled a ton of makeup products that fit those categories and I'm actually going to be putting them on my face today which is why I am saw makeup right now so that you guys can actually see how these products look and how they perform. Today I'm talking about my favorite products for the summertime but on either Thursday or Friday I'm not sure which day I'm uploading the video. I'm going to be testing out some of your favorite summertime makeup products that you guys are currently sending me on Twitter. Definitely hit that bell icon if you want to be notified when that does go live and of course subscribe if you just want to be part of the fam. I'm so excited to get so bronzed and glowy. So let's get started. Off. So I'm first gonna start off with just a little bit of skincare. I already have my moisturizer on my face, but I wanted to talk about my favorite sunscreen. I've mentioned this before, but this is the Glossy Invisible Shield Daily Sunscreen with SPF 35. I am so incredibly picky when it comes to any type of sunscreen. If I'm able to feel a sunscreen on my face or if I'm able to smell it, like I will just not wanna wear it. And this is one of the only only sunscreen products that I truly do not mind slathering like layers upon layers on my face because it sinks into the skin. It feels completely dry after you apply it. Like it does not feel greasy or like gross and just sunscreeny. It just feels almost like you're putting a gel moisturizer on your face and it has no scent. The scent is actually slightly lemony, which is very pleasant. So this next product is probably the one that I'm most excited about. It's also the newest product um, that I've tried. I've only worn this, I think like three times, but I can already tell and I already know that I'm going to be wearing this so much once summer hits. So this is the Burberry Fresh Glow Golden Radiance in number 02. And this is basically a tinted glowy primer. You can see that this is way darker than my face. It's like a really, really bronzy shade, but it's a very, very sheer product. And because it has this like bronzy tint to it, it just gives your skin almost like a bit of a faux tan. So I feel like this product is gonna be so great because it's just going to enhance like my natural tan that I already have going on and just make my skin look extra glowy. So I'm gonna pick some up on this Real Techniques foundation brush. I'm just gonna buff it all over my skin. I recently did my aunt's makeup for a wedding that she was going to. I used this in combination with the next product that I'm gonna talk about and her skin looked Majestic. Today is gonna to be the first time that I'm gonna be using the same combo. I've been using this product and the foundation separately, but I can't wait to see what it looks like combined because I think it's gonna look so, so good. I mean, it looks so pretty on her. So now for my foundation, I'm gonna be using my Armani Maestro Glow Nourishing Fusion Makeup by Phase Elixir Oxonite Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 30. This is a foundation that I used to wear all the time. I sort of like forgot about it for a little bit. The shade that I got is 6.25. I'm usually like a four in Armani foundation. So this, I could literally only wear when I'm tan, which is why I typically only wear this in the summertime. I mean, I could obviously get a lighter shade, but I'm just too lazy. And this is also really, really expensive and I don't want to get another one. It's an extremely oily texture. It sort of looks like a serum. So when you apply it to your skin, it doesn't even really feel like you're applying a foundation. It really feels like you're applying more of a skincare product but it actually has coverage like this is a solid medium coverage foundation so I'm using the same brush that I use for the primer and just really lightly buffing it onto my skin and I just feel like with this type of product you don't have to like spend all that time like perfectly blending it into your skin for it to look flawless because it's such a lightweight product you could like just feather it onto your skin and it will just blend in perfectly and just work so next up, I'm going to put on a little bit of concealer. This is the RMS Uncover Up. And I actually feel like I'm really only able to use this product in the summertime because in the wintertime, my under eyes are far too dry for me to be able to put this on and have it look good because this is a very dewy consistency. And when concealers are very, very dewy, it could either go one of two ways. It could either make dry under eyes look really awesome, or if it's a creamy formula like this, it could often make your under eyes look too dry and <laughs> just accentuate like absolutely everything. And this is a product that really does do that for me. So I would not recommend this if you do have dry under eyes. However, for me in the summer, my under eyes are not really very dry anymore. So I'm able to wear this and it looks so good because it just looks like you're not wearing a ton of makeup when you wear this, but it still covers up 
like you see how that just instantly like really brightened up my under eyes but it looks very very natural so i'm just gonna put a little bit of this underneath my eyes with this morphe brush it's the g40 one of my faves for concealer I'm gonna also put a little bit on my chin bridge of my nose and center of the forehead just to like disperse the brightness a little bit around my face since it is a little bit lighter than the foundation we used there you go. Next up, I am going to be applying just the smallest, smallest amount of powder underneath my eyes because that concealer does crease quite a bit. I like to use as little powder as possible. I mean, always, but especially during the summertime because I only really want creams and liquids on my face. I just find it to be the most flattering and fresh looking. So I'm just applying the smallest amount. I'm using the Marc Jacobs uh, Invisible Finish Line Powder right now. Not really for any particular reason. This isn't necessarily like a favorite powder for the summer. It is really nice though. My favorite summertime bronzer. I could shed a tear because this is now going to be a permanent product in the Marc Jacobs collection. This was at one time a limited edition and it broke my heart because I fell so head over heels over this bronzer and uh, I didn't think I would ever be able to get it again, but they brought it back and now it's going to be permanent, which is just the best news ever. So this is the Tantastic Omega bronzer and it is a matte product. Sometimes I like to switch between more of like a glowy bronzer and then something like this, but I think because like the rest of my face is so glowy with all the other products I'm using, it's nice to balance it out with just a little bit of matteness so that I'm not just like oil slick. Although, wouldn't be mad at that either. So as for blush, this is so different than the normal blushes that I usually wear. I usually go for very neutral tones, but when I'm a little bit more tan, I do like a very bright blush because I find that with the tan, these types of shades look Stunning. Again, I actually used this on my aunt who had just had a spray tan and I put this on her for her party that I was getting her ready for and it looked amazing. And it sort of reminded me how much I actually love these types of blushes. So this is the Too Faced Love Flush Blush in Justify My Love. These types of blushes, even though they could look really scary, and even if you are very, very fair, you could still totally pull this off. You just gotta apply a small amount at a time. So you wanna Put your brush into the product and literally just like tap it off on the back of your hand to get off most of it and then go in and just pat it on your cheeks. And if you ever feel like you apply too much or if it's too bright, you could always go in with your foundation brush just to sort of like run over it to soften it or even um, a tinted powder works really well for that trick. So for example, I'm taking my little concealer brush that I use and I'm sort of just going to run along this and it also makes it look like it's coming from underneath your skin than just sitting on top of it when you do go over it with a little bit of face powder or your leftover foundation or concealer. For my highlighter, I'm all about cream and liquid highlighters for the summertime. This is just one of my favorites. It's the Nude Sticks uh, cream highlighter. It's the Nudies all over face color. And this one is in the shade Hey Honey. So I'm just going to take this on my finger. It's a really pretty golden color. I feel like this is a pretty universal shade. If you're very, 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 very fair, this may not work for you because it just may be a little bit too gold. But if you are my shade or deeper, this will work beautifully because it is quite sheer. So. It doesn't look like a gold stripe. It sort of just gives you a golden glow. So I'm just gonna put some of this right on the tops of my cheekbones for just a little bit of like a glossy golden glow effect. Facial mists are so important for the summertime. I use facial mists all day, every day, morning, afternoon, nighttime, and in between all of that. I love bringing facial mist when I'm going to the pool and I just wanna like refresh myself a little bit. Spraying this on your face is the best thing ever and it also refreshes your makeup really, really nicely. The Caudalie Beauty Elixir, you guys know, is a favorite of mine. I have these in all rooms of my house, so I am just going to completely drench myself in this. Just like the rest of my face, I'm gonna be using creams on my eyes. I'm first gonna go in with my Nude Sticks Magnetic Luminous Eye Color in the shade Nudity. I Love these for a really, really quick eye look because you've literally just gotta swipe it all over the lid and then blend it out with your finger. This is such a perfect bronzy shade because sometimes I find with bronzy shades, like it could be a little bit too dark and it can make it look like you have a bit of like a smoky eye going on, which sometimes you don't want. You just want like a wash of bronze all, all across the lid and this is a perfect shade for that because it gives you that bronzy look, but it's a really, really light bronze. 
so it doesn't make it look like you have a smoky eye. And what's also really nice about these nude stick pencils is that they lock down and set on their own, so you don't need a eye primer with them. You literally just apply and that's it, and they will last the whole entire day, which is fantastic and really good if you want something that's like heat and sweat proof because these will actually last. I'm actually gonna go in with another cream eyeshadow that I love. This is Top Yacht from uh, Tarte, it's a chrome paint. And this is a very, very, very intense metallic cream eyeshadow. If you just want one eyeshadow for the summer, let it be this one. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this right in the center of my lid just to highlight it and creates a little bit more dimension to this like simple eye look. Like you see how amazing that looks just by adding that one product. So for my brows, I'm gonna be using two products, a brow gel and then this Makeup Forever brow liner. It's an intense brow definer. I recently spoke about this in I think my unique products video and this is a really cool brow product because it's literally like a liquid eyeliner for your brows and I love this because it creates a very natural effect if you use it correctly and it's also pretty waterproof which I think is great for the summertime. So I actually like to first go in with a clear brow gel and just brush this through my brows. So I'm just gonna wipe off most of the product. I'm using the shade 20, it's the perfect shade for my brows. I'm just gonna go in and just make some small strokes to add some hairs where I need some. And because the color is so light, it makes it look so natural looking. That's definitely something I would recommend with this product. Like go lighter instead of darker for your brow color. All right, so we are almost done. I wanna talk about some lip products that I know I'm going to be loving throughout the whole entire summer. Uh, like I said, I am so into sheer and glossy things and that definitely also applies to the lips. First up, I have my Lancome Juicy Shakers. I've spoken about these so much. You guys know that I love these. And this is sort of like a lip oil with pigment in it. So this is what this particular Juicy Shaker looks like, but there's so many colors that are all very, very pretty. Next up, I have these YSL lipsticks. So this is the Tinted Balm. This is my favorite color. It's the shade number two. But this is like the most amazing color because it's bright, but because it's so sheer and glossy, it's still so wearable. This is like one of my top, 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 top favorites. And then this one over here is the Rouge Volite Shine. So this is very, very shiny. This one is in the shade 74. It's like a beautiful coral. This one has a little bit more pigment than the other two. It's such a pretty color. The Fresh Sugar Lip Balms are another one of my favorites. I have so many of these shades. This one over here is in the shade Punch. So easy to wear. I love the shade Tulip. If you want something a little bit more pink. This is more of like a reddish coral. And this is so comfortable to wear since it's basically a lip balm. Lastly, I have the Lancome L'Absolu Lacquer. I don't have David here to pronounce it perfectly for me today, but um, I've spoken about these so much recently. They're just gorgeous, very, very glossy, very intensely bright colors. Um, and they're very long wearing as well, which is what I love about them. This is just like the perfect going out on a summer night makeup look. Is it not? I think today though, I'm gonna wear the YSL Volupte Tint and Balm in number two, the pink one. So the face is done and I look very glowy and dewy, but my body is not reflecting what my face is reflecting. So I feel like I gotta, you know, even it out a little bit. And I've been loving using the Marc Jacobs Do You Do Drops on my body. So I am going to apply just a little bit of this on this Morphe brush, it's the G36. I love applying body glow, especially in the summertime when you're wearing like open tops. So I just put some on my Decollete and my collarbones. Oh my God, have you guys seen that video on Twitter of the guys applying the um, Fenty body highlighter and sort of just like making fun of all the girls who like put it on so sensually? It is the funniest video. I like died. We just become like sexual goddesses when we put on body highlighter. And this is also the most awkward way to apply body highlighter ever. Oh, you know what? I can just put this in my other hand and go like this. I don't know why that didn't occur to me sooner. So guys, that is it for the finished look. Using all the makeup products that I know I'm going to be obsessed with as soon as summer finally hits. I just realized that I'm like overly optimistic <laughs> with what I'm wearing right now. It is like cold and rainy outside. Not summer weather at all, but I'm trying to 
bring in as much summer vibes as possible right now. Don't forget to let me know all of your thoughts down below. Let me know some of your favorite summer products. And by the way, if you wanna make sure that you are updated every time I do these like subscriber choose my makeup videos, make sure you're following me on Instagram and Twitter because I always let you guys know there first. So that way you can participate in the next one. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And of course, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.